most sure the goddess on whom these heirs attend. Um, vouchsafe. My prayer may know if you remain upon this island, yeah. <laughs> and that you, some good instruction, might give me on how I may bear me here. Oh, oh okay. My, my prime request, which I do last pronounce it. Oh, you wonder. Um, if you be maid or no. <laughs> no wonder, sir, but certainly a maid. My language, heavens. <laughs> I am the best of them that speak this speech were I but where to spoken. Oh, my God! The best? What wert thou if the king of Naples heard thee? A single thing that I am now that wonders to hear thee speak of Naples. He does hear me. And that he does, I weep. Myself in Naples, who with mine own eyes never since it ebb beheld the king my father's friend. Glad for mercy. Yes, faith and all his lords. The Duke of Milan and his brave son being twain. <laughs> At the first. Where are these three hours? <laughs> oh, most dear mistress. The sun will set before I shall discharge what I must strive to do. If you sit down, I'll bear your lost wife. Pray give me that. I'll carry it to the pond. No, precious creature. I had rather crack my sinews, break my back, than you such dishonor undergo while I sit lazy by. It would become me as well as it does you, and I shall do it with much more ease. Yes. For my good wills to it, and yours it is again. Uh -huh. uh. You look wearily. No. No, sweet mistress, it is fresh morning with me when you are by at night. I beseech you, chiefly that I might set it in my prayer. What is your name? Miranda. I am Miranda! Ah, indeed, the talk of admiration, what's worth what's dearest to the world. Uh, full many a lady have I eyed with best regard, and many a time the, the, the harmony of their tongue hath into bondage brought my too diligent ear. For several virtues have I liked several women, but none was so fun a soul. But some defect in her did quarrel with the noblest grace that she owed and put it to the foil. But you? You. So perfect and so peerless are created of every creature's best. I do not know 